Hey, hey, it's Jeff with ID10T Garage, and we're back out here working on the Torino for the Hot Rod Power Tour. It's a 71 Torino GT Fastback with 351 Cleveland in it. And in this week's episode, we're replacing the radiator, finishing up some exhaust work, and finishing up some interior work. So, let's get to it. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a god never change, play the game now we say Hey, hey everybody, we're back out here about to get to work I'm going to replace the radiator, so that's the agenda for the day. We've got the power tour here coming up and we need to make sure we're going to have good cooling. I just don't want to rely on a 50 year old radiator. Uh, it hasn't had any problems and I hate to replace it, but at the same time, I'm putting thousand plus miles on this car, so better safer than sorry. So let's get to it. All right, with everything as it always goes, we've had to do some changes. So these mounts, these big pieces that are sitting there are kind of causing the issue, especially on the bottom. It wasn't sitting down low enough. Um, so I had to move it over to the left a little bit and none of our mounting brackets are working either. So I'm gonna have to make some mounting brackets to, to really hold this in place. What I've done though, like I also put some the, the rubber from the original mounting brackets behind here to hold it nice and tight up against here without any rattling because my hose was actually against the belt. So I needed the top to push out a little bit and so on. So I wanted to make sure I got some clearance with that hose. And now I got to clearance this as well because this is way a little bit lower down and it's right on that bolt. So I might even have to just take this strap for the battery down and just remove it. Uh, I don't know yet. I probably will just because like I'd rather not have to worry about the hose getting a hole in it. So, But uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. But we're going to figure out. I got to go find some metal and uh, figure out what I'm going to do with these mounting brackets. So, Otherwise it's just zip ties and I'm not, not going to do that. Currently burping the baby. I don't know if anybody else does this. I know a lot of old school people do. But I'm just basically running it, got it nice and hot, and trying to make all the air bubbles come out. So as you see, it keeps flowing over. That's the air pushing it back up. And usually you'll get a lot of air bubbles in here as well. I can press it, get some gas, suck it down. Let it go. Start 
watching it to see if it starts burping back up. Just trying to get the air out. And of course it doesn't want to burp now. Yeah, buddy, look at that nice aluminum radiator. All right, we've got everything in place. <clears throat> I went ahead and cut this bull even with this nut, so I don't have to worry about um, it, you know, puncturing a hole in the radiator hose. I drilled holes all the way through and mounted these with bolts. I got two nuts on the end, and I put rubber pads from the original mounts that held it in place in between the radiator and the uh, support or the rad support. So I, I just didn't want it, you know, bouncing hard against the metal. I also put some zip ties in place just as a backup, just to make sure uh, in case these some reason rattle loose or anything like that. Uh, some self tappers to get the top of the uh, good old uh, freaking uh, fan shroud in place. Whew, but it barely fits like that bottom even with the way I'd put it um, It's just barely clearing the fan on the bottom. So uh, You can kind of see right there a good gap the hose who that hose is tight in there uh, But luckily it's clearing the belt. So it's not binding up against the belt, but it is tight in there. So I might have to make some adjustments there, but we got everything in place I burped it like I kind of showed in uh, the previous video. I think I'm going to add that to uh, today's stuff. Uh, but it might need to be burped a little bit more. I got it up to about a little over 200 with the 180 thermostat in it. Um, I, I ran it for a good while in, in the garage and burped it quite a bit and then took it for a drive. So, But phew, stays on at 180 when you're moving, that's for sure. So, But yeah, there it is. Nice aluminum radiator. $160 off of Amazon Decent fit. I mean obviously you you don't use the stock mounts for it, but still Gotta love it Hey everybody we're back out here about to get back to work. So today I just pulled off the mufflers uh, I replaced them last week with some thrush welded mufflers and put some uh, Drop dumps on them or you know turn downs. I need to weld them on I just tacked them while they were in place so I pulled them off because the buff mufflers just slip on right now. Um, you know, it's kind of a little bit of this, a little bit of that until I get a full exhaust system. But the mufflers are spent, so that's what I'm about to do. So as you can see, just a, a couple bad tacks while I was hovering under the car just to get them in place. So now I'm going to go ahead and weld these on. So, all right. All right, so nothing special, you know, welding around my shit spot welds, doing decent, and then I ran out of wire, so now I gotta get more wire, but at least they're welded on, and it ain't going nowhere, so not, not gonna have too many leaks, so I'll probably just go ahead and slide them back on now. All right, another little update, we went ahead and got the new gauge cluster the uh basically I, I redesigned it to give a more optimal angle uh when you're viewing i've tilted these five degrees forward and then swapped up the location so these four gauges are easy to see when you're driving in general and it's a uh, and you can easily see the ones on the outside just by looking over a little bit so now everything is kind of ergonomically correct um so viewing is good um, then of course I put in the dash pad and got my two GPS's one for the radio and one for the actual uh, speedometer kind of mounting mounted up and hidden in there so the interior is really really coming along so let's see if you can see this at all yeah they kind of you can kind of see it some of these gauges actually are kind of weird uh, these Chinese gauges you can see it's half lit up but it doesn't light up really until you turn on the key. So that's why this one, these two aren't doing anything. And 
neither is that one. So this is kind of a wonky little LED setup on these. Uh, the other two are obviously not the same brand. I updated my um, fuel gauge to a autometer gauge because I was having a lot of issues with it floating. And it turns out this one doesn't work right either. So I'm pretty sure my sending unit is shot. And that is a uh, V3 tachometer because the other tachometer didn't work. So they both have different backlighting, but I, I kept them red either way. So, but yeah, there it is. Hey, thanks everybody for tuning into this week's episode. We got a lot done. We, we got the radiator in, every, new hoses, and welded up our exhaust and replaced our mufflers and everything. Now, not all of that's on, on the video, unfortunately. Uh, I had to do a lot of that, you know, just in the garage. Uh, but you, I welded it on the video and so on and so forth, as you guys can see. Um, and we, we finally got our gauge cluster in and working. Still got a lot to do. Uh, yet again, with, with it coming down to the end of the the power tour stuff uh, a lot of stuff is under the car and hard to record so I'm trying to record what I can uh, I gotta do things like change out the fuel sending unit uh, my gauge isn't working right and I really would like that to work for the power tour instead of just every 200 miles getting gas uh, but we'll see how that goes um, there's plenty of other things to do some interior work I'm gonna change out the thermostat yet again uh, maybe even change out another hose but I mean we've got endless things to do. Uh, I changed out my coil the other day. I've changed out plugs. You know, just trying to do all these odds and ends. I think I'm going to go try to change out the uh, fluid in the rear differential. So, uh, more to come. Uh, I'll definitely be putting out up an update at the very least next week. So, in the meantime, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you want to see and I hope we'll be seeing you on the power tour. So, peace. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card never changed, baby